With the Roadcaster video, you can use all kinds of media in your productions, like videos, images, and audio. But today, we're going to be looking at graphics and overlays. Graphics with a transparent layer, typically PNG files, can be used for a number of different things in your productions. They can be lower thirds to introduce your guests like this. Frames to give your scene some personality, like this. Or even just title cards to tell your viewers that you'll be back soon or the show's over, like this. To make this process easier, we've created tailor-made graphics with a variety of different themes and hosted them on our Figma community board. Here you can quickly edit and tweak them to suit your show, download them as a single package, and then load them onto your Roadcaster video to be used in your shows. Let's take a look at this process. First, head to the Roadcaster video Figma page linked below and click Open in Figma. Under the Pages menu, over here, select a theme you'd like to work with. For this demo, we're gonna go with Blue Corporate. Now you can see a bunch of different scene frames, lower thirds, title cards, and more. If you're familiar with Figma and happy to experiment, feel free to use our templates as a jumping off point to design your own. For anyone else, let's take a look at how to edit the text in these templates. Press T on your keyboard or the T icon in the toolbar down here. And then double click the text field you want to edit to make your changes. Let's go up to this one up here for this super. It says Jane Citizen, I'm gonna put my own name. Stephen Byrne. Occupation, total legend. Once you've made all your edits, the next step is to export your files. For this, you'll need to select everything you want to export. You can do this from this list on the left by holding Command on Mac or Control on Windows and clicking each of the assets you want, like so. We just want this one, so that's all we're gonna take. You can also select individual elements from this list of purple items here. Once you've selected everything you want, click Export, select PNG, and export your layers. Once downloaded, extract your zip file, and your graphics are ready to import. With your Roadcaster video on the same network as your computer, or connected directly via USB 2, open the Scene Builder within Road Central. Import your graphics by simply clicking Add Media from the Media Library on the left-hand side. Here they are right here. And now they're loaded in. Now let's take a look at how to set up lower thirds, title cards, and overlays. Now you've got your graphics in your Media Library, click the Overlay Function button and drag the files you're going to use onto any of these seven buttons A through G. You can now use these overlays in your show by pressing the overlay button on your Roadcaster video right here. Then pressing any of the seven scene buttons. We put our super on A, so we'll click it and it shows up. When you enable an overlay, it will appear over the top of your live program feed until you disable it again. This is ideal for lower thirds that you want to remain on screen even if you're switching camera angles beneath it like this. Or title cards that you want to use in your show. Next, let's take a look at how to set up lower thirds, title cards, and overlays. First, click an empty scene button in the Road Central Scene Builder and select Template from the right-hand side. This kicks off the process of building a new scene. Next, under the Layout drop-down, choose the layout that matches the frame template you want to use. Under this, click each of the frames and select which inputs or media you want to assign to them in order to build your scene. So on A, we're gonna put camera two. And on B, I'm gonna put camera four. And since we're using the frame that we had on the background, I'm gonna drag it over. Now, just click the layout drop down again and choose custom. Now, since the frame we built on Figma has a few graphical elements that will look great if it sits on top of our videos, we're gonna drag it to the front of the scene. By doing this, as you can see, the board is around and then the frame on the side. It looks great. That's it. Your scene is now saved and ready to use. We can't wait to see how creative you get with Figma.